You remember these old school crank windows? Well today I'm going to show you what's inside and how it actually works. Now instead of removing the door panel and taking out the regulator that way, I'm actually going to be removing this side of the door panel just to show you how it works when it's assembled. So I'm going to use my angle grinder and cut this door open. Alright and now I can remove the door panel. And now this gives us a clear look at what the window regulator looks like. The crank is situated over here and that gear will mesh with this much larger semicircular gear and that is riveted onto this mechanism here which is a scissor mechanism that is responsible for moving the window itself up and down. Now this scissor mechanism has two fixed pivot points, one over here and one that is sliding over here and that will extend or retract depending on the position of the window. Now on the sides we have the window track that will guide the window into the door. Now you can watch as this mechanism will rotate this way and bring the window down as I wind down the crank. So if I bring the window down a little bit here you can see that this arm here is one piece that attaches to the window and is primarily responsible for taking the load from the crank to the window itself. However, these two cross pieces on the scissors are actually separated pieces and they pivot in the middle. You can also see we've got a cross beam on the front and back of the window that distributes the load between the two. Finally, let's focus on this slider here. You'll notice as I'm winding the window down, it will actually reach its maximum position as the scissor mechanism maxes out. And then when I keep winding it down, it'll start to retract a bit and go back inward. Now in order to remove the window mechanism, I need to disconnect the glass from the regulator itself. To do that, there's two 10 millimeter bolts on the glass bottom itself that I need to release and then I can remove the glass from the door itself with the whole piece. Now in order to get the regulator itself out there's three bolts over here and then another two bolts for the slider that I'm going to remove. And now I can remove the window regulator assembly from the door. And this is pretty much what your window regulator and window looks like when you remove it from the vehicle minus the two tracks that are still a part of the door. This is the window regulator looking from the inside out. We've got the input that comes from the crank over here and then we've got this giant sun gear that roughly encompasses 150 degrees of motion. Now over here we have a torsional spring and that's what makes it very difficult when you're winding down the window as the spring is loading itself against gravity so the window doesn't just fall right down and then it makes it easy when you're winding it back up because that spring is untensioning. And then we've got the scissor mechanism with the slider on the top part where the glass attaches to for these scissors to come together and spread apart depending on its position. So because the scissor mechanism is out of vehicle I can actually move it pretty easily with my hand. You can see that when I reach the maximum point of the scissor that I can actually continue going to the other side to lower the window even further. That's unlike an actual scissors when you're clipping something. And then over here you can clearly see how the gear from the crank will engage with the sun gear to turn the big arm to move the window. Now there's not too much to say about the window itself other than the back edge and the front edge that glides in the window track in the door that we saw earlier. So the next time you're thinking about cranking up your AC, you should think about cranking down your windows instead so you can get some of that natural breeze. Oh, that's a lot of work.